Hello everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. This is the final video, but I'll make a shorty. I'm Max Razor, and it's Dan Singer. We had a great time with this project. Now then, the number. It's like Fire Room. You have, you have clear data. So basically, the mansion, you need the mansion or hidden mansion. And basically, we knew when you beat the game, it's like, you would start over the game, but basically where you end up is actually very interesting. You will actually have to start over the entire game. What? Well, technically not the entire game, just up to the point where you get to get the Players 2000. Yeah. You can use Hidden Mansion, but that's like advanced campaigns in Advanced Wars. It's harder. Yeah. Enemies do much more damage to you, and you're getting a lot of damage. So anyway, it's much harder. Anyway, you said something else when you said Hidden Mansion. I'm not sure what it is. Wait, he says, careful now, Luigi, if you're doing the mansion, and you notice the start of the game. Right, or Toad is right there. Right there. Like that. The Hidden Mansion. Don't get stare stiff, Luigi. Start of the game, and there's a star. Yeah, basically it's like the whole game all over again, but it's harder. Basically, we're not going to do that since it's a little bit too hard. So yeah, we're not doing it. Okay, now it's my turn to the training room. Remember, it's Max Grisher's playing. Sidestep is not very good. Since basically, you only miss me in sidestep. Basically, I like to prefer the, the the standard, since basically, it's easier. Yeah. Some people might prefer the sidestep. You want to do that. Once again, I'm not showing you the rules, but we're just going to show you how to play. Remember, you will not get hurt. The ghost will not hurt you. Remember. Here's a good idea. Good idea. Wait for them to come to you, then you, use, then you flash the light at them. That's a good idea. Take note of that. That's how you usually get her store. Can you first score? No, I didn't. Got eight. Yeah. Eight. Let's keep those goals. All right. See ya. Best you can keep training as much as you want. Now ready to look for a brother, which you already did. Here's the gallery. Get to it. Now basically, you're in the gallery right now. Now notice there's a few rooms. Okay, the room in the ladder is where you end up when you literally, we, with Dr. Egad. Hold on a second while I just the screen. There we go, that's enough. The next room, which is above it, is actually the ghost organizer room, which changes the paintings. And I guess the last room is the, you know, that extra room is actually the ghost training room. Now look at this. Okay, did you see anything yet? Basically, here's where you need to check your paintings. Yeah, this is our ranking, and you check our paintings. And yeah, you need to just press A if right under one, and then you get the paintings. And notice this one's gold since we did a replay. Yeah, remember the pearls depend on that what you get. So we're gonna do this order. Then we'll show you some more extras. You need to be very precise when you press A. Or else you won't get to see it. Mm -hmm. Interesting that I got gold in this fat ghost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's this hot guy. Mm -hmm. Wait. Mm -hmm. Silver. Yeah, I think I might have just like. Yeah, I think I forgot what happened during the jar. Mm -hmm. Those that fat. Be fatless. There's waves behind. Be fat, be fatless. Mm -hmm. Also, very interesting that there's like two bogmires in that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bruni. He's like, yeah, I'm on you. Bronze is the worst you can get, just let you know. Then there's silver, then there's gold. Mm -hmm. And 
and there it is. This was a soul sword, number 23. It's a small boss. Also, there's nothing in this, in these pawns. Also, you won't be able to find the Mario since you look in the gallery. Yeah. And there's Bangor. Oh, it is. Looks pixelated. Yeah. There's others ghosts. <laughs> um, wait, the gold one? He actually looks like he's about to get... Yeah. These spells look like he's like some sort of stealth deck. The Eskimo. Those twins look muscular. Maybe. And there's that dog. Those dancing two. Oh, and that girl. Who's that? Who's that? Come on, who's that girl? Who's that girl? Okay, you please stop banging. I, it's pretty hard. You need to get precise or else you can't see it. Let's try it again. And there's that fat lady. I do call her fat. Come on. Come on. Come on, Luigi. There we go. I was, was doing it right. Yeah. Looks like he's like a puppet. And now let's... OMG. Laminate everything. Yeah, basically when you beat the game, all these things are, are done for. So basically I'm going to show you when we beat the game. Yeah. Basically... We're, you can see, um, like, there's a, basically, there's this person named Barlob, okay, he did a Let's Play, and basically, in the Twin is Twilight episode of this Let's Play, he showed that. Just let you know. So, if you want to see it, see his Let's Play, episode 29, and then you get the information. Let's talk to you, Gad. When we talk to you, Gad, do you, you say, where am I? This is Gallery, this is where we're hanging on his paintings. Ghost paintings, that is. So when he was young, he assigned some scenes during ghost paintings. I tried any child would clip them. It was glamorous. Yeah. Here's a horrifying story. So basically, number 22 was Velocis. Yes, so basically, that's how they turn the portraits back. And that's the. And that's basically the story of Luigi's Mansion. Basically, he captured all these ghosts, and King Boo turned them all back. <laughs> and I'm going to show you that that's like 23. Wait, why is it 20? It's the 23rd. Um, did we caught it, right? Yeah. Then why is it like that? I don't know. Anyway, there's also some more information. Which also just what's the game what's the game by horror? So you design the game of horror is communication circle. So you press the Z button and you just pick up. Yeah. You just use press the Y button to display the map. What about the X button? You can also just use the X button to just search. So you're sorry about it. just looking. Yeah. And move back to the lab. No, this is not. This is not Egad's final appearance. He appears as the one who made Flood in Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah. He also appeared in Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. As long as a ghost. I wasn't really scared of that ghost. I don't know why. He remembers that ghost. Yeah, basically. This Chandler. Here's what happens to the Chandler does. He tries to get. You and that's what basically the Chandler does. It tries to catch you when you're like there for like the first time. What's the point out? There we go. And that's it. That's the game. But so it shows you some options: sound, rumble, controls, brightness. Okay. Also, and here's the final thing I want to show you is the preview for Pikmin. We might not do a Pikmin Let's Play, but we're just going to show you this for fun. You have one on a mysterious planet by accident. Your ship is down. Yeah, 
basically it's gonna be a Nintendo game. Also, Sun Fury did this, right? Yeah, he did let's play with this. That was like back in spring. Meet the Pikmin. Yeah, that was like a long time ago. Yeah. Right up. There's that bug. It's like walking around. So we should organize the Pikmin. Yeah. Do anything to Pikmin. I know! Torture the Pikmin! Oh. There you see it. So they climb up. They fire up bomb rocks. Put them there. And there was the wall. And then they can die. If you're not careful. They also take stuff back. They fight enemies. Yeah. They fight. At least we got four fifteen minute time limits. Let's presume it to end it. Surviving Pikmin. Yeah. Yeah, just survive with them. Cause if you lose all your Pikmin and all your Pikmin total, then it'll be Pikmin Extinction. That means the Pikmin will be extinct. And yeah, repair your spaceship is the main thing you want to do. They help you with your spaceship. Yeah, and yeah, that's it. The main goal of this game is to return home. It's all in. Pikmin, the first game in the series. I like what PK said in the Chris R series let's play. Yeah, like they were just tagging into this extra video and they decided to do that. And guess what they did? They just did that and they called it EGAD thing. And they called it The April Fool's Project. I was like always haunted right there. Yeah, basically that's what the major looks like a new game. Which is like there. Look at the files are brown and like he's blue. So which fire you like to load? Welcome to your mansion. Welcome to our mansion. Oh, anyway, here's where you do the files. We can get to an, an old file and you just press the white button to copy. You can, see, you can copy. You can copy them. So we get another copy. You can also erase the files. Get like that. But you can start every game if you're not careful. Okay? Alright, guys. This has been Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. I hope you enjoyed this project. And I'm Dan Zizzer. I'm Max Treasure. And I hope you enjoy our next project, which will be another replay. Done by who? I don't know. See you later. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for one just small extra shorty episode. Just a short thing. Just need to show. And then we'll. I actually call the project over, right? Yeah. So yeah, one more thing, and then we're done the project for good. One small thing. Alright. See ya.